Hey everybody, we're finally, finally back with another video. I know it's been a while. I kind of think to consider ourselves a sailing channel and we've been here in Luperon. Yes, we are still here in Luperon. Why are we still here? First of all, we're waiting out hurricane season, which in the Caribbean can go from June to November. But now it's November. Yeah. And we should be getting ready to move on. But we have one more major project we're working on, which is rebuilding our bowsprit. It's been a slow process. Mostly it's our fault. But sometimes things are hard to source. And while we have a new one built, we're waiting on now rewelding the front uh, chain plate. And it's got some tricky bolts that won't come off. And so we're going to get there. As soon as that's done, though, we uh, will resupply and we'll be back on the water soon. I really, really miss being out there on the water sailing, that's for sure. It's been a while here in Luperon and we've had a great time here in Luperon, but I miss the water. Yeah. So, well, the other thing you might notice is I did a costume change for this episode. Oh, costume change. Yeah. I dropped the fake beard and mustache and the wig. <laughs> and it's back to old Chris. You know, so. I think what we're going to do is talk about um, some good food in Luperon we've been eating and give you a little tour of our favorite places here in town because who doesn't like to eat good food? It's always fun to explore new culinary adventures when you're traveling and the Dominican Republic has a lot to offer especially in this little town of Luperon that does yep. cater to cruisers and so there's some fun spots that are more American style food but then there's also a few great local places so hope you enjoy yeah check it out Life in the DR is full of bounty, both in beauty and food. We are finally back with a new video, and we're excited to share with you some places around town that we've been enjoying. Sharing the culture of the Dominican Republic with you, and also letting you know what we've been up to lately. We got to a project we've been procrastinating on for a long time. Luperon is a very special place, not only for its culture, but especially for its affordable prices. So come share a meal with us. When you first leave the dinghy dock and come up the path, the first place you'll come to is El Bucanero. We're stopping in with our good friends, JD and Mabel. We're having ribs and carrots and potatoes and coleslaw over there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coleslaw. Cold beer. Uh, cold beer. All right. The focus here is on European dishes such as goulash and pierogies, as well as some slow cooked meats. Yum. Come visit Bucanero. Say hi to Gregor. <laughs> and the next place you'll come to is Tom's Tacos y Cosas, home of the best tacos you'll find in town. And what I learned is that Tom gave up a life as a nuclear engineer living in Paris to come open a taco shop here in Luperon. You used to be a nuclear engineer in Paris and now you're here and what made you open a taco shop? I left uh, the nuclear industry, industry in 2015, I think. I had to go cruising and ended up here in Luperon. Yeah. COVID hit, so I got stuck here and just hoping to expand the food options of Luperon a little bit. Hopefully serve them good food. Yeah. People seem to like the food, so. Yeah. What's your favorite thing that you make? I don't know, I like everything that I make. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't make it. <laughs> One of the nice things about Tom's Tacos is it's located right next to Wendy's Bar, so you can order your tacos right from there. Thanks, Tom. Nearby, you'll find Las Palmeras, one of the favorite gathering spots for the cruisers and home of the monthly open mic night. This is also where we had our very first meal after arriving in Luperon, and then this happened. Ah. I just got shat on by a bird. Oh. 
When you want to find the best food, you go where the locals go. And we got turned on to the empanada lady, as we call her. She does breakfast in the mornings from 8 until 11. Everything is handmade. Everything is super cheap and super delicious. Fresh ingredients and served piping hot. I think the first day we went, we had two coffees and we each had an empanada with ham and cheese and it was less than $2. <laughs> Limon y queso y huevo. Ah. Once we found this hidden gem, we went to breakfast there quite often. Just walking around town in Luperon is a lot of fun, going from place to place. There's always a friendly dog to pet, interesting people watching, and fun friends to find. If you don't feel like going out one night, you can stop it at one of the many Calmados in town that have the freshest produce you've ever seen. You won't find any GMO products here, all organic. Or stop in at your favorite local butcher lady who is cutting up a steak for us and making fresh ground burger, yum. In addition to that, you'll find numerous street vendors ready to serve up your delicious dinner. Oh. Around the corner and off the beaten path, you'll find the current best kept secret in town. This invitation only eatery is only open on Sundays and you pretty much gotta be in the know. Serving up excellent Indonesian style dishes, Bart and Alex really know how to make you feel at home. You will not find a better Sunday meal than this. Magic hot sauce. Magic hot sauce. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Located at the busiest intersection in Luperon is our favorite place for pizza, De La France. Fresh ingredients and a delicious crust. This staple of the community is known for more than just their pizza. The best lunch deal in town can be found here, the plate of the day, Plato del Dia. Plato del Dia. Rice, beans, salad. 150 pesos, $3. Can't beat it. Boom. Yum. If that wasn't enough, three mornings a week, you'll also find Kelly making crepes. With everything that goes on in this busy restaurant, at some point, you will see everyone you know here. The whole gang's here. Even Hugo. Yeah. Back on the main strip in town, you will easily find the best burger here, at the North. This place is very popular with the cruisers and for good reason. Proprietors Jen and Dan work hard to source quality ingredients and it shows. Do you have a favorite burger? Oh, definitely. Probably the barbecue jalapeno. Barbecue jalapeno. Oh, or the yeah. Consistently good piled hide burgers served with the freshest fries you'll find in town. Paired with a fresh cocktail menu that does not disappoint. I get to know all the different kinds of people that come through, you know, cruisers and tourists. You get to meet all kinds of kinds. Some really interesting ones and you just get a lot of good experiences. Yeah. Small hometown people. The light and airy atmosphere adds to their great menu and easily becomes one of the best social places to gather in town. Down the next block in town, you'll find restaurant Titanic. I have to admit, this is not one of our frequented places, but if you go, you might just get a free pair of swim fins. Thanks, Fred and Donna. Oh. <laughs> A 
short dinghy ride across the bay takes you to Los Velas Restaurant at Puerto Blanco. This is a great spot for an afternoon cold beer or a pina colada. And the views that go along with it can't be beat. Las Velas is also where you come to if you want to walk over to Playa Grande. Just a short walk away is a hidden gem of Luperon. Hands down the most beautiful spot to sit and drink a beer and watch the waves go by. Absolutely stunning views of the Dominican Republic coastline, along with some great food on the menu. Make this place one of the best spots to spend an afternoon. You may even find some people flying kites on the beach next door and they might just teach you a little. And this is way harder than it looks, I'll tell you that. And just to remind you folks, we've been here five months. We don't eat out every day. We don't eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at all these fantastic eateries. In fact, most times we're cooking at home. But over the last few months, we've been fortunate enough to be able to visit a couple of these great spots, and we hope you enjoyed seeing them. Hey, I hope you enjoyed our food tour. There's a couple places in town that we didn't get a chance to uh, go to. Chris is making potatoes. <laughs> and um, sorry, Astrid's. We really wish we got a chance to uh, show Astrid's as well. It's a great spot if you're ever in the area. But we'd really also like to thank our patrons for their continued support. You guys are super amazing. This rum tot goes to our patrons. And also, thanks to all of you for taking the time out of your day to watch us. Have a great day, everybody.